Hi guys, today we will review the gaming beast Red Magic 5S. One of my favorite phones are the gaming phones. They bring a lot of new innovations and this phone is an example of this. The Red Magic 5S is officially on sale from today. You can find all the links you need in the description. And as always, we will test the phone with the Antutu benchmark and PUBG gameplay. The specs of this phone are really impressive, but even more impressive are some of its cooling innovations. The phone comes with the 5G ready Snapdragon 865, 6.65 inch 144Hz AMOLED display, 320Hz shoulder buttons, 4500 mAh battery with fast charging. We also have active liquid cooling and a real fan inside the phone. Let's see what we have in the box. We have the manual. One crystal clear silicone case, we will test it later. We have a power adapter, which can be different depending on your region. And one red USB Type-C power cable. And here is the magical phone itself, this is the silver version. On the left side we have a dedicated gaming switch in red color, also a special dock connector and exhaust fan because we have a fan inside. On the bottom is the Type-C connector, the speaker and the SIM tray. On the right side are the power and the volume buttons, another exhaust fan and of course the shoulder buttons, we will talk more about them later. And on top there is a headphone jack, which I think is a must have feature on a gaming phone. On the back we have a Sony powered camera that is capable of shooting 64 megapixel images. Even though the camera is not the main feature of this phone is quite good. The build quality of this phone is excellent and definitely it can compete with more expensive devices. The Red Magic 5S starts from about 580 US dollars, which is a pretty good price for the features it offers. Now let's start the phone for the first time and complete the setup, it's simple and fast. Now let's set up the fingerprint. And as simple as that, the phone is ready to use. We have a new firmware, so let's update it, as later we will run benchmark test and we need to have the latest version. Now the phone runs the latest firmware and we can check some of the important settings. We can control the refresh rate of the display and choose from 60 up to 144 Hz for a super smooth experience. We can also see what is the current refresh rate of the display, there is an icon showing it on the top left corner. The fingerprint under the display on the Red Magic 5S is pretty fast. We have one more option to unlock the phone and this is with face recognition, this feature also works well and it's quite fast. As you know I enjoy cool wallpapers and here you can see some of the pre-installed wallpapers with which the phone comes. The Red Magic 5S comes equipped with the camera sensors from Sony. As a gaming phone the camera is not its main feature, however it's still capable of taking decent shots. The camera app is well made with a lot of options, we have a pro mode, portrait mode and something called camera family, which contains a bunch of cool filters. We can take pictures up to 64 megapixels and I have to mention that this phone is capable of shooting 8K videos, however it's limited to 15 frames. One of the coolest feature of this phone is the cooling fan inside. In the settings we have several different options with which we can control the fan. The fan can also be used during the charging, this can improve the fast charging of the phone, especially in the hot environment. When the fan is active you can see an icon on the top left corner and if I bring it close to the microphone you can hear it.
the Red Magic 5S supports Wi-Fi 6 and if you are connected to the Wi-Fi 6 router you can take advantage of the fast speed. My speed test shows pretty good results. Now let's run the Antutu benchmark and see what score we will get. And guys, as you can expect from a phone with specs like this, it didn't disappoint. You can pay attention to the temperature of the battery and the CPU. This is the lowest result on a smartphone I have ever seen during this test. The liquid cooling and the fan definitely helps. The Red Magic 5S has its own dedicated gaming switch, which brings the game menu. From there we can select a game and set additional settings. We can change the screen refresh rate and assign the shoulder buttons with different functions. We can also screen record our gameplay, so let's give it a try to the injustice. This game can bring some high refresh rates and with this phone the experience is on another level. Now we can try PUBG and I will show you how to set the shoulder buttons. When you are in game mode swipe from right and tap on the shoulder triggers and you can assign the left and right with the function you want. Now we are ready to go, let's cook some chicken dinner. Now I can assign my left shoulder button to open the scope. Guys, check out this, the most powerful weapon in PUBG is the car.
the Red Magic 5S has pretty good speakers. There is some powerful sound going out from this phone. Now let's try the phone case that comes with the phone. I think this is a very comfortable case to hold, especially when playing games. And of course you can still use the shoulder buttons, which is pretty cool. The Red Magic 5S has some pretty unique features. The phone is super fast and super smooth with its 144Hz display. And with that liquid cooling plus the real fan, you can play all day without drop of frame. The battery life is pretty good as well. The 4500mAh battery is enough to bring you through the whole day. And if you play a lot of games, you can use the fast charge. This is one of my favorite gaming phones as it brings unique features and pushes the innovations in this category. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy or your display will run on 1Hz refresh rate. Stay cool and I'll see you soon.